<laughs> the catch is there. You Because we believe that Jesus is building his yeah. church. Hello, Hello friends. friends. How are you guys doing? Welcome to another exciting Welcome. session, another sermon series. We yeah. are on a new series. I'm not going to expose. I'm, just, I'm not, just, not going to say what it is, Come but on. we are on a brand new sermon series. I was so blessed. How did you find the last sermon series? Great, great. I was blessed. You know, every time that the word is released, yeah. you know, it, it just speaks to my spirit yeah. and challenges challenges me. So, yeah, it was great. It was yeah, great guys, we just wrapped up because you say so. It was a fire sermon series. Come on. All seven, I think seven or eight sermon series jam-packed with Come amazing on. word, amazing revelation. So if you haven't checked those out, Go back, do yourself a favor, do us a favor. Do it. Go and check those out. And yeah, if they haven't liked and subscribed, please do. Please do yourself a favor, do us a favor, like, share, and subscribe. This yeah. is how we invite people to church. Yeah, True. man. Yeah. What are we about to do, Peter? We are going into offering. So yes, I sir. hope you guys are ready. Please prepare your heart um, to give. Yes, and, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We will see you in a minute. God bless you. Hello Jesus Church, my name is Sitabia Lebagu and I will be bringing you guys the offering for today. So our offering is found in Psalms 37 verse 5. It says, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him and he will do it. This scripture is very short, but it's very, very powerful. It says, commit everything you do to the Lord, trust in him and he will help you. Basically, this means that when you commit everything you do to the Lord, you need to trust in Him, which means there's a time period that you need to just have faith and believe and just go on on faith and just trusting and then he will help you so you commit everything you do to the lord you can commit your finances you can commit your relationships you can commit your family to the lord you trust in him even when it doesn't seem as though what you committed is working out for you and then he will do it so god always requires faith whenever we sow he always requires us to trust in him he always requires us to go through that process of trusting that's why the scripture says commit trust and then he will do it family the banking details will be popping up on the screen please may you use them to sow into the kingdom of god i hope this message blessed you so much and please may you enjoy the word stay blessed hello jesus church we are all about knowing jesus and making friends so grateful that you've joined us for another amazing service merry christmas to everybody and a happy new year Christmas season, spirit of giving is in the air, people spending time with family and friends. And I'm aware that some of you guys are able to watch the service now, but some of you guys will be watching it later on just because you're probably away, no no network, because you're visiting family or having some family going somewhere. Yeah, I just wanna say Merry Christmas though, whenever you're watching this and we love you, appreciate you. It's been an incredible year and I'm so grateful, man. I mean, so much to be grateful for. We've been sharing some stories this month um, and I mean, there's so many highlights and everybody's got their own story. So why don't you share some stories with us? You know, go on our social media, right? Um, can even write a whole post there. Just go and tag us or go on our page and write some stuff or join our G Jesus Church group, friends group uh, on Facebook and write some of the stuff that you're grateful for, some of the stuff that has happened in your life this year, some of the stuff that God has been just blessing you with yeah just write us something on instagram for us or wherever wherever you, you you connect with us online and let's hear some of your stories well the word today is just going to be basically around what's happening around the world everywhere if people are celebrating this it's christmas and sometimes our start because of all the lights the fairy lights and you know santa claus and what do you call these things that he rides again i forget it but anyway, <laughs> the reindeers, <laughs> uh, with the reindeers and everything, you may lose the whole meaning of Christmas. What's actually Christmas all about? So we're going to read the book of Matthew chapter 1. But before I get into it, why don't we pray together? Heavenly Father, our Daddy, thank God. We love you. I appreciate you. We thank you for this time. Thank you for your word. And we're about to just look deep to where this whole Christmas spirit comes from. Uh, we pray that you just speak into our lives and remind us. The whole purpose of Christmas so that we can do uh, or rather not lose sight of what you've asked us to do or called us to do in Jesus name. Amen. Cool. So yeah in the spirit of Christmas 
Um, by the way, Jesus wasn't born on the 25th, 25th of December, in case somebody thinks they were. Uh, it's just a date that we picked um, that we used to remember it. Probably sometime around this time of the year, but definitely not the 25th of December. So um, this is just what we, a day that we used to remember. So as you guys know, yesterday was Christmas. Uh, today it's Boxing Day, but it's all about Christmas as far as we know. It's Christmas. <laughs> cool. Um, Matthew chapter 1, verse number 18. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they had came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her publicly or disgrace her, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. Verse 20. But after he had considered that, after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. What is conceived in Mary is from the Holy Spirit. Verse 21, she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sin. This is the whole ground and foundation of Christmas, the birth of Jesus, the miraculous birth of Jesus. No one has ever born a child while they were a virgin. But this is the greatest miracle. I would say the first miracle Jesus ever performed was to be in the womb of a virgin. Just think about how phenomenal that is. The Holy Spirit conceived him in Mary's womb while she was a virgin and was something very spectacular in itself. And from there, we see that a lot of confusion right when Jesus was in the womb. That's why even today we still have confusion. Some people believe in Jesus, some people don't believe he's the Messiah. Some people believe in other, in other religions. There's been confusion about this birth of Jesus that now we've butted it up with all these fairy lights and we've forgotten what it's all about. We don't want to confront or I don't want to even face that the whole point of Christmas and the season that we're in is because of the miraculous birth of the son Jesus. He put himself in the womb of Mary and the Holy Spirit told, uh, then the Holy Spirit or the angel of the Lord came to Joseph and told him, look, what Mary's conceived is of the Holy Ghost and give the name to him Jesus. Hence, we are Jesus Church because he shall save people from their sin. In fact, he shall save his people from their sin. So even the name of Jesus was his mission. He was named after his purpose. His purpose was to save, was to save. And I think about Lord, I mean, the Holy Spirit gave us this name, Jesus Church, for, for, for this movement. And I, I mean, it just hit me. That's the purpose, is to save people, is to save people. Hence, making friends knowing Jesus is to save people. The name of Jesus in itself has the power to save. That's why when we pray for the sick, we say, in the name of Jesus, be healed. That's why when baptism says, in the name of Jesus, that's why when, when we, 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 we heal, sorry, when we pray for the sick, or we do anything, we say, in the name of Jesus, or when we cast out devils, in the name of Jesus, because the name in itself had a purpose. And the purpose was to save people. So the Bible says, there's no other name given amongst men whereby they shall be saved except for the name of Jesus. So Jesus was born after his name, to fulfill his name, to save people from their sins. That's what Christmas is all about. Now, if we can make Christmas everything, I think the biggest mistake is to make Christmas everything but saving people. The biggest mistake you can make is to make Christmas everything but saving people because the whole point of that birth was to somebody to come out into the world and save people. So how are you saving people during this Christmas season? Who are you saving during this Christmas season? Who are you telling about Jesus? Who are you being generous to? Who are you loving this Christmas? 
What are you doing to save people? Because the season is all about the birth of somebody who came to save their people from their sin. So let's just be conscious of that. Saving people from their sin. We're not here to do anything else except for saving people from their sin. If I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me, Jesus says. He will draw men unto him. Our job is to lift up the name of Jesus so that he can draw people to himself and save them from their sin. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Everything on earth, above the earth, under the earth. It is the name of Jesus. It is the person of Jesus. It is in him whereby we are saved. So I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I want to say, just go out there and save somebody by, this, by telling and preaching the name of Jesus, by telling them about Jesus. We are Jesus Church of the world and we're all about making friends. So be intentional about making friends this season. Be intentional about who we're going to invite to church next week Sunday. Let us not... Church is not just a by-the-way thing. It is the thing. We can never get too busy for this. The church of Jesus Christ, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. It's not a by-the-way. It's the thing. It's about saving people. Saving people. Let that sink in. Saving people. We're all about saving people from their sin. And it's so sad because in most cases, people who need saving don't even know they need saving. And it's up to us to preach the gospel so that they can see and cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, save me. We cannot save people, but we can lead them to Jesus who can. That's why we need to preach the gospel, to love people. We need to shout from the mountains. We need to be a light in the darkness. We need to be a salt in a saltless world. So that by us, by our fruits, people can see Jesus and be saved. I love you so much and I hope you encourage. I'm going to ask you, go out there, just ask the Lord to lead you to a person today that you're just going to lead to Jesus. Lead you to a person that you're going to lead to Jesus. Maybe sending them a message on WhatsApp, maybe walking down the street, maybe going by the mall and just intentionally grabbing somebody and saying, hey, Jesus loves you. Just blessing them with something, blessing them with groceries, blessing them with something. Hey, Jesus loves you and he wants to have a relationship with you. Whatever that looks like for you, I want to encourage you that let's not lose the Christmas of spirits. Sorry, let us not lose the spirit of Christmas in all the glamour, in all the things that the secular world has painted over it. And not focus on actually saving people. We can party, we can bribe, we can drink alcohol, we can smoke, we can dance, we can do all of these things that are happening in the world today and totally forget what Christmas is all about. I mean, people are doing a lot of things. People are in clubs, they're bashing, they do do all of these things. And some people, I mean, not so bad, they're just chilling at home with family. But even there, the essence of just all about Jesus, but saving people is lost. Then we come back to the New Year making resolution. We've lost whole season where we just get to be reminded of the birth of Jesus, where he came to save me and you. He left heaven. He left his glory. He thought it was worth giving up to save me. He thought it was worth becoming a man, humbling himself and dying on a cross, which was a shameful thing to save you and I. How dare we forget the cost, the price he paid and what it took to save us. How can we go by without sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ? Abba Daddy, I pray that you just make us conscious about what Christmas is all about. So much happening in the world. People are looking forward to the year, that's the song that's going to be the song of the year. Firecrackers, I mean, partying, all of these things that are happening around the world. And I pray that the church may be conscious right now. And just say, hey, this is a time for saving. Let us be the people that want to go into those places and just offer people some cup of juice or cup of cool drink or coffee. Call them up to the side and say, hey, I want to pray with you. Let us be those people, Lord, who are going to be intentional about winning the lost during the season. We're going to love people who need to be loved, who want to know what love is. Pray, Lord God, let us be the light in the darkness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Jesus Church. We are all about people, hey. Let's go out there and make friends. We're not just a watch online service. 
we are practical. We go out into the field and we begin to harvest. The harvest is plenty, but the workers are few, are few Jesus says. Let us go out there and reap the harvest and start saving people this season. Merry Christmas. I love you so much. And have a blessed New Year. See you guys next week. Same time, same place. Love you. Man, that was quite a message, eh, Rats? Mm. How did you feel about that? It was a good word, I tell you the honest truth, ladies man, and gentlemen, wow. friends and friends. We, yeah. always, we always get fed here at Jesus Church, Sir, man. I, say that again. I believe that every Sunday, God is changing lives through mm -hmm. what's happening here, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and for some of you guys that haven't liked and should subscribe to the page, yes. how are you going to do that, Raps? Listen, just like, just subscribe, and click on the notification button so that you won't miss out on any you know sermons or services that we post right that's there. right that's right it's a it's a refreshing way that's it's right. a word of refresh that's right and yes, that's sir. how you can that's how you can also um, invite somebody to yes, church sir. as well right so like by sharing this mm. someone else can also experience what you just experienced my wife just said something very funny she Come was on. like like isn't technology amazing mm. that no. what we're recording is someone in america can watch. be able to watch and access and i feel like this is why god created technology mm -hmm. and another thing is i just want to thank you all of you guys for your tithing and your offering that makes yes. it available this is where it all goes the word you just yep. heard that's where your tithing is going yes, sir. that's where your offering is going yes, sir. literally every single cent that you guys put into this church it's going to feed other people this mm -hmm. is definitely mm -hmm. fertile ground listen we in a brand new series called gratitude yes, yeah sir, i yes, tell sir. you this is whereby we are just reflecting on the year we're just thanking god for everything that he did yeah. and man he's kept us he's kept us healthy absolutely, absolutely. in the midst in the midst of a storm we have been like the children of israel in goshen in egypt yeah. he has covered us by his blood and we are just saying thank you so join us again next week raps what time will it be we'll be 17 hours same can, can we say same place Sing, sing, wherever you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah wherever, wherever you're you watching us from. Join us there. We will be there. Just log in yeah. and we're always here for you. God bless you. We love you. Yeah. Peace.